This is how we can create simple fast quiz game in Construct 3. Okay, let's create this quiz game. Let's copy the size and paste it here. This one is going to be loader layout for loading JSON of questions. And we're going to have the questions JSON file. Which is a uh, which is an array of arrays that includes six questions that have uh, index uh, zero for the question type, index one for the question itself, index two for the answers, and the last index is the correct answer. And you can add, edit, or remove uh, every question you need based on this format. Okay. So I'm going to go and add Ajax object for loading this file and JSON object for uh, parsing the data of loaded file. So in here, at action system on a startup layout, Ajax going to load this file. Uh, load this file and after lo load completed, JSON going to parse that data, Ajax the last data. And we need to have a variable called Q count, which is questions count, and uh, it's gonna be JSON dot array size of questions, which is this key or this uh, type. And uh, we have this question count, and then we need to go in here, set the background to something bluish like this. And I'm going to go and duplicate it and it's going to be game that needs to have its own event sheet game sheet and we're going to set it to game sheet I'm going to open it let's close this one and in here we need to go to that layout after setting Q count okay okay now let's go in the game and add text and buttons for showing the game and stuff okay so I, I'm gonna do that very quickly okay now we have the text in here and the buttons which is a uh, nine patch object and we need to have the container of txt answer for each button we have because we need to have uh, a txt answer for each button we have in here so we need to set a web font for the text we have so let's go and add our web fonts all right I'm gonna select every text I have and set the web font just like this okay now we need to go to game sheet and add some variables All right, now we need to uh, have a function called get question, and it needs to have a parameter called venom, which is the number of question we want to get. And I need to go in here on a startup layout and call this for question number one. And then I need to set these uh, variables to it's to their value okay so the first one is going to be question num which which is going to be venom and the second uh, variable we need to set is question type and it's going to uh, get from json so it's going to be json dot get from questions questions dot now we need to say uh, get index of question that is renom minus one because the array of uh, because arrays in construct starts from zero and then dot and uh, zero and as you can see we set it zero because we need to have index 0 of the question. Index 0 is the type, index 1 is the question, 2 is the answers, and the 
last one is the correct answer. So we set them very fast. And we have them in here. So let's go in loader and debug it and see does it work or not. Okay, we have Uruguay and we have the question number type and everything okay and now we need to set uh, set the text so we need to have a new function called set text and we need to call this in here and very quickly and let's see how it looks okay we have question type number but we don't have in here so uh, for setting them I've already added some uh, indexes index variable for the buttons this is index 0 index 1 index 2 and index 3 and uh, I added because we need to uh, use for each order it to set them correctly so it's gonna be btn dot index and btn answer which is another variable I add is gonna be token at answers index it's gonna be btn dot index and the separator is gonna be comma okay we use token at to separate the uh, answers okay so index zero of token at is going to be uruguay brazil for index one and germany and peru okay so we use this for separating and we have the answer now we need to set the txt answer on the button okay so txt answer is going to be on button position txt answer is going to move to top and text answers text is going to be btn dot answer and let's see okay we have them uh, very good now we need to click on the buttons and uh, make them correct or wrong show them correct or wrong all right so let's go and add touch and in here we need to say on any touch end if touching btn if btn's answer is equal to correct answer we need to make it green green like this and we need to copy the code color code and paste this in here rgbx255 and if its answer is not correct we need to set it to red just like this so I'm gonna copy and paste this here and it's gonna be like this I'm gonna reset the color and in here we say when it's uh, when when the answer is not correct we need to show the correct answer so I need to have a new function called show correct and I'm gonna call. Uh, I'm gonna call this in here after a while, like 0.5 second. Okay, and it's gonna have this. Show the correct one. And uh, let's run. Okay, Uruguay is correct, but when we choose Brazil, it's gonna choose the correct one okay shows the correct one and after showing that we need to go to the next question so I need to call this function so it's gonna be get question qnum plus one but it needs to do it after 0.7 seconds okay and I'm gonna copy and paste this in here too so let's see we have this okay we have the answer type number two 
and the answers in here but we need to set the colors to white so let's go in here after loading it we need to set color RGB X two five five two five five two five five two five five for white and let's run again praise you okay we have this very good now uh, we have a bug that when we choose several uh, items we <laughs> make the game crash okay so for uh, preventing that we need to have a new uh, variable called clicked or something like that and in here we say uh, if clicked is zero clicked set to one and click is going to be in here okay if it's zero then make it one and we need to reset it in here too okay so let's set clicked to zero and when we touch several doesn't work okay so we have the questions type and everything and after all we need to have the result okay so I response them and we don't have question number seven so in here we need to show the result okay so in here in the get question we say if uh, qnum is bigger than q count we need to show the result so let's add a uh, layer called result and here needs to have same color not transparent same color and I need to have a text in here that says let's make them in here okay put them in the middle of the screen and in here let's say you answer uh, for example 55 percent of the questions and let's just make this empty for adding a new txt uh, whatever txt1 and in here it's gonna be txt percent and it's gonna be just like this 55 percent big one bold and it's gonna be in here and we have to put this in here okay you answered 55 percent of the questions of the questions and we need to uh, show this as a counter from zero to the target percent okay so it needs to have twin and but for now we need to show result that is uh, invisible initially okay so in here we need to show result layer and we need to have target percent variable and also correct answer it correct answer it or answer it correct I don't know and in here we need to have correct answer it at one okay and in here we need to get the target percent okay so the target percent is gonna be 100 multiplied by correct answer it divided by all questions we have which is q count okay so this is the correct uh, this is the target percent okay and uh, we need to set it for this object so txt percent 
is going to be it's going to have this tween start from 0 to target percent in point uh, 5 second out circular and we say when txt percent is working is any playing we need to set it text takes the person's text gonna be uh, int we need we don't need the float int of self dot tween dot value of tag empty and it's gonna be like this let's make them correct Control C, Hotmail, this one, this one. Yeah, we have 100, but I forgot to add percent at the end. Okay, and also I need to have a new button for resetting. Okay, and it needs to be in here. It's going to be btn reset reset and we're going to say on any touch end if touching this object if result is visible then we need to reset global variables and then go to the layout loader okay we don't make it invisible make it invisible and then go to the loader yeah that's it we have it correctly 